and I was reading in the legal press that there was questions about whether or not Jonathan Sumption QC was um, going to be appointed as a court judge. Accepting that you may not be able to comment specifically on those rumours, I'm interested nevertheless as to whether or not Supreme Court judges should come from the appeal courts or whether they can be practitioners or academics. What do you think yes, about well, that? Cri the criteria of the Supreme Court justice is laid down in the constitutional format. Uh, <coughs> it is open to um, <coughs> who are not judges uh, to apply um, and um, there's no reason at all why a practicing um, member of the bar shouldn't apply uh, to be considered for the Supreme Court. But the role of the um, Selection Commission is to consider the relative merits of the applicants uh, and if you've got a very powerful track record as a senior judge, uh, you're obviously off to a very good start. Yes. If one's going to prefer a candidate who hasn't got that kind of record, uh, then that candidate is obviously going to manifest very powerful uh, alternative qualities. But at the moment, isn't it still the, the Lord Chancellor who decides on the appointment of a Supreme Court judge? Not in reality. The Lord Chancellor has, uh, under the statute, a fairly limited power of veto. But he can't um, actually nominate anyone himself. It's up to the Commission uh, to provide the nomination. And <coughs> the Lord Chancellor can uh, invite the Commission to think again. Name, uh, but he's certainly not in a position himself 